What is going on fellow outlaws? Outlaw Gary here and in this video we are in Red Dead Redemption 2 story because we're checking out some missions that you may have missed during your playthrough that I thought were super awesome that you need to check out. So today's video is going to be quite interesting and of course there's a beggar here. Hello Mr. Beggar. Yeah sure I got lots of money. Here you go sir. Oh hey! Sir, I want you to have this. What did he just give me? Oh that's right. Something instead of just begging. That's very nice of him. That's very nice of him. I, you know, I once read and saw a news article that some beggars make over ninety thousand dollars a year in begging. And I was thinking to myself, maybe I'm in the wrong profession, dudes. Maybe I should be out there in the street corner hustling my body. That sounds wrong. Not like that. I mean, like just out there begging for money. Holy, not going to be okay. You know what? We're just going to go to this guy over here. His name is brother something. We're going to go talk to him because he's got some news for us about a job he wants us to do. Mr. Priesty, I'm here. You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? Yes, I am so rich. Right, so kind. Yes, oh, you are, sir. You have it in you. I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father wrong on two counts sir i'm two a counts. humble brother a penitent monk not a priest and you're a magnificent bit of work you may have made some some poor choices but he's a monk hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea but you do and god does and that's enough for me and for him we shall who's, see who's he looking at we shall sir but why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor there are so many who will go hungry tonight you know what we're gonna donate some money. Bless you, sir. There you go. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but you know, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. Nope. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post. They're shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help All right. This is where your boy Gary Barry comes into play. I'm about to save the day. God, look at me rhyming. Look at me go. Excuse me. Knock, knock, mother truckers. Outlaw Gary's here. Hi there, mister. Feel free to browse. Ah, uh, browse I will, Mr. Creepy Man. Look at this guy. Look at his eyes. I can't even see his eyes. Let me see your eyes. Yep. A few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe. I don't even have a wife, dude. What if... Yeah, you can't just assume I got a wife. Looking what if I'm into men? Huh? Huh? Yeah. It's 1899, dude. You can't just be assuming things like that. Here? Huh? Huh? I can't search this chest. It's so weird. All right, Mr. Shopkeeper, listen. I know what you got behind this bookshelf, and it ain't books, brother. Uh, nothing much back there, I'm afraid. Just a, a few old books. Oh, dude. Just a few old books, eh? What, what are all these scrapes? marks on the floor then i'm freaking detective gary berry here at your service and we've got multiple reports sir of human trafficking are you guilty or not guilty huh a bit of a strange question but you heard tell us slavers around here buddy what what listen bud as you know i'm detective gary formerly outlaw gary and i'm here to question you about the well-being of some potential slaves in the area now i didn't get your name but mr i don't i don't even know what mr no eyes i'm gonna have to threaten you who people you're hiding i know they're here don't lie to me mm -hmm. please they made me do it I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Sure. Sure, brother. All righty. We're going to have to get physical, sir, if you don't get to it. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time. Can I just open the bookshelf? Because I know it's back here. Can I? I got to I gotta threaten him. I'm going to threaten him one more time. Where are uh, there, There's 
a door behind the bookcase there. Uh -huh. Just put the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Now, because of that, I'm going to rob the cashier now. You don't have to clean me out. Oh, yes, I do. I'm just watching it while he's away. Well, sir, I have to do the city's duty. I'm collecting taxes now. Just go to sleep right there. Now, I'm going to check your pockets to make sure you don't have a gun. And while you're sleeping, I'm just... Oh, thank you for the ring and some brandy. That was so nice of him. All right. So, we got to find this book. Which one is it? One about crossbreeding or something? I've never I've never really understood that stuff, but... Oh, the big red book right here. Ah. So, let's pull this door open. What's behind door number one? Bro, I got to say, this is like a... Oh... That's fancy. Uh, hello? That Can is I... fancy. Detective Gary Berry's here. Knock, knock, mother truckers. Por favor, ayúdanos. Yes, yes. Don't worry. All right, all right. Hold on. I'm coming. Your fellow Spanish man is here to save the day. All right, that's one out. Break this one free. Looks like the game is... Can I shoot these things off? Oh, that is so cool. I totally took a risk there. I didn't even know you could shoot it off, to be honest. That was freaking cool. All right, my Spanish friends, vamonos, muchachos. Don't worry. Is this guy's body still here? Yeah. Maybe I should have left the guy alive so that they could have an interaction with one another. <gasps> Maybe I should bring the guy's bot. Yeah, let's leave the body there. Maybe I don't want to get the cops on us. And just like that, dudes. Brother. Brother, Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my, that's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Marge Everyone understands this. Comida, please. Hey, Meet up. Forgot this. Oh, yes. Thank you, I... Uh, here, payment for your services. I uh, could not sir? have freed these men myself. Uh, no, thank you. I don't need your petty cash. Thank you. I will. I'm rich. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. I'm balling out on these streets. The old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. These guys on the- I got bronze? What? Was I supposed to finish in a certain time, probably? Most likely. These guys were unappreciative that I saved them. I freaking just saved them from slavery. And they gave me a bronze. And look at this. They're closed now. Let's go back in there in the morning and see what happens. So for whatever reason, the fence will just not reopen, even though we've waited till morning like four times and slept a whole day. It's been over 72 hours in game time, and we still have not been able to get the fence to reopen. Don't want to meet the new guy. But regardless, we can now go speak to the priest or the brother and see what the next mission he has for us. Right now, he's reading to these kids. Hello. Hello, everybody. That kid's so dirty. Sir. Look how dirty that kid is. Mother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. None taken. None taken at all. He just hey, steal. Stop! He's kids that'll work! Don't hurt him, please! He just stole a crucifix? Who steals a crucifix? Yeah. What happened? Oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? That way. How does he not know which what the heck this guy this kid poop along the way? Where's my watch you little weasel? I don't know nothing about no damn watch. Last Saturday I saw you steal it with my own two eyes. Maybe your eyes don't work so good. Hey you! Get your hands off of that boy, right? He stole my watch. Right now. Before I smash your hand in the wall. Alright, alright. Forget it. Little shit ain't worth it. Thanks, <laughs> mister? You got lucky this time, kid. Hey, where's where's the? Oh. <clears throat> Why would he steal this? I don't get it. Hey, you want some company, Mister? No. You sure? Hey, huh. I don't know you. This is Downs. Oh, no, not you. Get away How? now! I mean, I, hey, help! Uh, help! Hold on! This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me, officer! Help! <sighs> Mrs. Downs. What? Holy, what a freaking plot twist. That's crazy. Now, you guys don't know, I had actually ran to Mrs. Downs when she works in Van Horn 
And I met up with her son and I was able to get them out of the city. My other playthrough, I'm shocked to see her slutting around in, in San Denis. She's, man, she's moved up in the world. Let me tell you, she came to the hot spot in the city to work and strut her stuff. Hey, she's smart. She is smart. That is some, that is some thinking right there. But we gotta go to the sister now and give the crucifix back, which I'm still very confused why it was stolen. Unless it's made of real gold, then that would make sense. There's cops everywhere. Dang, I went the only way there wasn't cops. Mr. Hey, hey, hey. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. I killed him. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but... Who am I to say? Not really. Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is great. Dorkins. Deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Excuse me, Father. Sister. Okay. Enjoy your day. See, Father? Boom, brothers. Just like that. Just like that. That was fun. Holy. This was a cool little uh, side mission. If you guys have not done it, hook up my boy, Brother Dork, over here in San Denis. Of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new around here, that subscribe button. If I should do some more story mode, Red Dead Redemption 2, let me know in the comment section. I've been thinking about finishing up the epilogue and doing some uh, end game content as well, but I'm not sure if you guys are ready for it yet. I've been holding off on that. And uh, yeah, I appreciate all the love and support. And it's super windy. About to have a hurricane up in here. Everyone's gonna die, it looks like. But see you guys tomorrow with some brand new. Or later today, some brand new video. Bye, guys. Bye.